Now, this is my first memory vlog that I'm making without the expectation of my daddy watching it. And a lot of you probably seen some of these vlogs of my childhood memories that I've made over the last few months. And the reason I did it was because in the later stages of my dad's cancer, he couldn't talk. And um, it was something that I did to cheer him up. I did it to so he could play it, and and it, it was it was my way of um, communicating with him. So I don't know that that, that I w was ever planning on making any after he passed, but um, I'm just driving around thinking about it and. I felt a desire, so here's a pretty good memory. I was just thinking about my dad's rhino. Um, in the time before side-by-sides, it was like stick a street bike motor in a golf cart. A few people did that. They were rode like shit and went fast on the flats. <clears throat> and then the Rhino came out, 660. It was basically a quad motor and a side-by-side -side with a dumping bed, more of a utility truck than a side-by-side -side as we know them today. But it was the coolest thing since sliced bread. And my dad had like one of the first ones to come out. I mean, he was on the front line of side-by-sides. Back then, you couldn't, you couldn't buy aftermarket cages. You couldn't, you couldn't buy any of that shit. It didn't exist. Um, but my dad and I, we pimped his freaking rhino out. We built our own roll cage. And I mean, in a time before roll cages and side-by-sides, we had a roll cage, uh, multi-point into the bed, the whole nine yards. Um, he went and found the, the deals. So we could bolt it on and bolt it off and all that welded out. Um, he got a hold of a snowmobile racing company in Montana, Mountain Performance, and they built us a custom supercharger for our Rhino, and we supercharged it. We put a fuel pump off a V-Rod Harley in it and built it all up. <clears throat> so tires, like I remember like we had to source, you couldn't just walk into a freaking dirt bike store and buy tires for a Rhino that were paddles. So. My dad sourced paddles. We had, a, we had a rhino, you know, with paddles in back. We had paddles all the way around. We didn't know smoothies up front. We ran it in four wheel drive. We didn't know. But we had paddles in that thing, supercharged the roll cage, racing seats, the whole nine yards. And it was the, the baddest ass side by side there was when this is back when you go to the coast and see 10, maybe. Um, and it went like hell for those standards and today's standards uh, a 900 razor would have probably outran it um, but to us it would like almost do a wheelie and that was pretty wild right um, i remember jumping and if you jumped it like 10 feet you'd almost die you know my little sister actually broke her back in it jumping and they weren't jumping very far but um, it was it was pretty cool. Um, it was a pretty cool time, pretty cool experience. 